whether I'm being asked about my gear or something else, there are always questions to be answered for content creators. In this video, I'm going to be doing just that, so let's get into it. Our first question comes from Marty, asking how I get the smooth movements that you see in the videos. I use a Manfrotto 502 fluid head and that's what gives the silky movements that you guys see. There are definitely some solid, more affordable alternatives, so as long as you do your research, you should be just fine. Next question is from Heat, and he asks, apart from YouTube, what do I do? In the video space, I do some freelance work for a company I started, as well as producing content for a website I work for. Our next question comes from Brad Schneider, and he asks, what else do I do in my pastime when I'm not making videos? In the free time I do have, if I'm not writing, editing, or shooting a video, I pursue my other hobby, which is MMA. I love both watching and practicing it, so that takes up the rest of my time. For those interested, my favorite fighters are as follows. For the women's divisions, Joanna Jacek and Holly Holm. And for the men's, in order of weight class, John Dodson, Dominic Cruz, Jose Aldo, and Conor McGregor, funny enough. Rafael Dos Anjos, Steven Thompson. Anderson Silva, Anthony Johnson, and Fabricio Verdum. Next question, why do I use iOS and Mac? I dove into the Apple ecosystem with the iPod Touch 2G, and this is obviously a highly controversial topic, but I've been using Apple products almost exclusively ever since. DS Tech asks, what age are you? I'm currently 14 years old, a high school freshman. I'll be 15 in about two months. This next question is probably what I get asked the most. Restart Burger asks, where did I learn to shoot videos and how do I pay for all my tech? I've learned to shoot purely by watching the best, whether that's the editing process, audio, or even lighting. The style of shooting I use is somewhat common nowadays, but I originally learned it from Matthew Pierce, who now happens to work under TLD today with Jonathan Morrison. Nonetheless, that's probably what influenced my shooting style the most. If it's not a birthday gift or similar, I'll usually pay for everything I buy by taking on some freelance projects. Our last question today comes from Pixel Dojo, and he wants to know what gear I use. In case you didn't know, the gear used to shoot a specific video is always listed in the description below. My microphone of choice is the Rode NT-USB and like I've said many times before, this easily beats out microphones of twice the price that I've tested out. It's what you're listening to right now and honestly, I don't see a worthy upgrade in the near future for me. So there you have it, a little insight into my personal life as well as some history on the channel. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more great content and I'll see you guys in the next one.